Let's talk for a moment about how to use the Policare 300 properly. When you get the unit, you'll notice on the side that there are instructions here for you to, uh, to read in case you forget how to use the cold therapy product here. But essentially what you'll do is you'll take the lid off and inside you'll see these instructions here. You'll fill first with ice and then with water. We don't want to overfill the unit because when we put the lid back on you might get some spillage. So make sure you pay attention to where the water line stops. Then you're going to slide the top on and the pump down into the center and lock it into place with the handle. At that point you'll take your your pad and if this is a shoulder pad you're going to want to put that onto your shoulder to where you still have access to the stem. And at that point you will connect the couplings together. Now to do this you need to make sure that both of the silver tabs are depressed. If one is clicked open you're going to not be able to secure that coupling so you want to make sure that when you get the unit both of these are pushed down and then connected into place. And then when you need to ambulate you will simply push the silver tabs to release. Now if you forget to disconnect the power from the wall and you you depress the tabs and pull the pad apart from the unit itself you're not going to get lots of water pouring out. You might get a few drops but for the most part all the water will continue to stay into the cooler. The This this unit comes with a hand pump and the way that is used is you'll you will take the coupling of the cooler and simply match that up with the coupling of the pump so when you're traveling in areas where there's no electricity you can still get cold therapy for example on the way home from the hospital otherwise you're going to want to use the pneumatic pump here where again it has the same coupling on the bottom and that simply plugs into the unit there and then this plugs into the wall you will hear with this particular unit a little bit of noise as the pump runs air into the cylinder into the unit and as the water is dispersed um, also with these pads we need to make sure that we're very careful about not putting this pad directly against the skin and that's applicable to any cold therapy device that's on the market you want to make sure that you have a, either a shirt or some web krill or some type of padding between the actual cold therapy pad and the skin. And this will help to avoid any type of skin damage that you can incur. If, if you are concerned about the temperature and these particular pads, Bregg manufactures a unit called the Kodiak. Those particular pads are fairly high tech. They are called Intellifold pads. No other manufacturer on the market has them. Each pad is designed and regulated to run the temperatures through the pad that are safe for different parts of the body. So you can also look at the Bread Kodiak if, this, uh, if you're concerned about that 